So inside this box right here is the Australia's, which if you didn't know this, Ryan Schechter's newest pro shoe, and I found them on sale for like 60 bucks, so I got me a pair. And straight out of the box, it's a really good looking shoe. I really like the red and the white, which they have other colors too, but that one was my favorite, so I bought that one. And as everybody knows, looks aren't everything. And one thing that I really like about this shoe that's actually functional is that it has two spots for you to put the lace in, so you can have your shoe tighter or looser, depending on like your shoe size and just your personal preference. They also cut this little groove in here, which I don't really know what the point of that is, obviously, besides to hold up the tongue but i don't really see a benefit there but i mean i don't know maybe it'll be cool maybe it'll be worth it i'll do a little research and let you know why they did it later so straight out of the box on my feet they definitely feel like a shoe that that you would not want to skate like right away they definitely feel like they need to be broken in a little bit like they're, they're hugging the sides of my feet pretty well there's enough room for the toes but it just feels like a big band-aid around it and it needs to stretch out so i'm going to wear them for a few days at work to like get the shoes to like break in a little bit and stretch out and then I'll skate them. So these shoes actually broke in a lot faster than I thought they were going to. I haven't skated them yet, but just from wearing them at work for a little bit, they do feel pretty comfortable like on the bottom of my feet, but there is this little problem to where they rub the sides of my pinky toes the wrong way a little bit, which is really <laughs> annoying, but I've had this problem with other shoes in the past, so I'm not sure if it's just like my feet or if I walk a funny way or what's up with that. So I'm hoping that they stretch out a little bit and I don't have to deal with that anymore, but for now I'm gonna go do 10 tricks over there without any ollies to kind of like feel them out a little bit. My pinky toes are starting to bother me a little bit, my right one more than my left. So what I'm hoping is happening is the shoes are starting to stretch out sideways a little bit. So hopefully really soon my, my pinky toes won't bother me at all, which would be great. But for the tread pattern on the bottom, it doesn't feel like my feet are gonna slide off for any reason, which is great. And then on the other side of that, it doesn't feel like super sticky. So it's hard to like move my feet around and adjust for tricks. And the shoes themselves are starting to feel more comfortable, like broken in for skating and everything. So what I'm gonna start doing now is doing some flat ground tricks, like always 180s, kick flips and stuff like that to like test it out of that aspect because uh, I like those tricks. I can't really use kick flips as a good measurement to see if like a, a shoe is gonna have good flick or not because I can pretty much kick flip in anything. Like hell, I did a kick flip in some uh, hiking boots on a penny board. So like, that's not like a really good measurement for me. For me, I, I like to use tray flips because I can only tray flip in certain shoes. I actually almost stopped skating my previous shoes because it took me a while to figure out how to tray flip in them. So I'm gonna go back over there and try to warm up with a couple varial flips and then do a couple tray flips and maybe some heel flips. It just depends on like when my phone battery dies. I think I finally figured it out. So the past month I've been thinking on and off, what are the point of these notches to hold up the tongue? I mean, I guess it looks cool when it just sits there, but you're supposed to skate shoes, not stare at them. But I think it's actually for the shoelaces. I think you're supposed to run the shoelace behind the tongue. And when you put it through one of these two holes here and tie it, it wraps around your ankle a lot better. So it's been about a month since I first started skating the shoe. And at some point it stretched out. I don't remember exactly how long it takes for it to be fully broken in, but I wear them at work, the gym and skating, obviously, and they're really comfortable. And the most surprising part to me is that only a few days ago the shoelace broke which you know that happens to all shoes when you skate them but I've never really had a shoe take that long to break the shoelace unless I was skating the non abrasive grip tape which in that case then it never happens but I replaced it and it's still going strong so if you didn't know this thing right here is the sole of the shoe and if you didn't know the sole of the shoe is what determines how much you can feel the board or not and then how much impact the shoe is going to absorb when your foot hits the ground. Which is really important in skating because if you have a shoe that you think is too thick or too thin, it's gonna to totally throw off your skate session. So when I bought this shoe, I thought it was gonna be super thick because Ryan Sheckler jumps off some really big shit. But I would say these shoes have about a medium thickness insole, even though I do wish they were a little bit thicker when they came out the box, but I can still feel my board pretty good. And then when I jump off something, it does feel like there's a sole there to absorb some of the impact. So in other words, they're thicker than Vans, but not as thick as a shoe from 2001. And then for the durability of the shoe, I'm gonna break it up into two sections. One, the outside of the shoe, and then two, the sole of the shoe, how much it feels it has broken down since I first started skating in them. So for the sole of the shoe, it's obviously not as good as it used to be because when you first pull the shoe out of the box, it's 100 
hundred percent and then you wear it a little bit and you're like oh I really like this comfortable and then at some point it gets to the part to where you don't want to wear them anymore because they hurt your feet because it's broken down too much and right now I'm still in that window of it feeling good I'll probably wear it for about another month of skating in it walking in it and going to the gym every day because they're still comfortable enough to wear at work and I'm still confident if I jump down something in these shoes that they'll do a decent job of protecting my feet so why change them out now for the outside of the shoe something I really do like about this shoe is after you run through the layer of fabric they have a layer of rubber underneath which you can barely see it popping out right here so once you do hit the rubber you do have a decent amount of time before you have to shoe goo your shoe or anything like that if you were trying to extend it out for a little bit but how do you know that if there's not a hole in that shoe well I've had about three or four pairs of the shoe in the last 12 months and one of those shoes that I did have I did a thousand landed kick flips not just a thousand tries a thousand landed kick flips which that video will pop up here in a minute so I just realized I had headphones on the entire time oh well I guess but uh, I really like these shoes I like how comfortable they are once you get through the whole break-in period thing which every shoe does have one of those just some are just longer than others and I really like how durable these shoes are so you're not going out and buying shoes all the time and I like how the shoe skates in general and just how much board feel it has how it flicks and the best part honestly it might seem a little weird but I really like this shoelace thing because my shoes I want them really tight I want my shoe to feel like my foot and not like there is a shoe on my foot just be like one with the foot which that helps with that but uh, this is probably gonna be the only shoe that I buy for a while because I like them so why mess up a good thing if there's something that I like left out or there's something you want to know about these shoes leave it in a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it the best way that I know how.